what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new hit the like button and the subscribe button thank you for being here if you are a returning subscriber and this is not your first time being here welcome back sending lots of love your way catch it and receive it it's for you so today's reading is what limiting belief has got to go <laughs> you already know no longer serving you you're holding on to it but it's it really just needs to go so today's reading like i said is going to be a what limiting belief is blocking you um what limiting belief that you have that has got to go and the rocks that you're going to see in the video in just a second are created by my children they painted these rocks so let's go ahead and take our three deep mindful breaths and get right into it inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale okay okay you guys if more than one pile stands out to you that is perfectly okay you're gonna choose the blue between the blue the pink the orange or the pink right here i, I said pink but this is purple <laughs> you guys know hey pink pile so the back of the deck energy this one is to immediately come out and be the center of attention so what you're consuming pref, pref, um, specifically if you are drinking sodas um, this is just like this is like I hear like this is detrimental to your health so um, literally this is like super toxic for your body um, it's like literally I'm hearing waste and that's not based on like my personal beliefs although um you know the nutrition facts like this literally says nutri nutrient z your body could also be um lacking in the nutrients that it actually needs some um zinc some vitamin b vitamin k vitamin 12 b12 um is what specifically popped out but if you're drinking soda this is just literally like this is toxic for every part of your health um, specifically pal pink pink pal um, the pink also correlates to the heart chakra so if you chose this um, your heart chakra could be blocked off balance um, or overactive and I will have signs on this uh, a sign on the screen so that you can read um, some of the sign the physical symptoms that come with having a blocked um, off balance heart chakra and so yeah like you a heart heart disease cardiac arrest um, over stressing um, obesity this is like what's coming out for me when I'm holding this uh, soda and you don't have to be obese you don't even have to be overweight it's just like in whatever in whatever form this um, the soda isn't really good for your health that's the point that's being made here so let's see okay you have this what this picture looks like keepers of the kingdom whatever that means for you that's just popping up in my head. You have remove trap. Okay. Literally. I did say cardiac arrest, so maybe like heart disease, kidney failure. You have Feng, Sh Feng Shang mirror. You have crimson ninja. You have Troop Dragon, and look, notice that they're green, so um, immune system. You might be um, sick. You could be sick. This is a general reading, so if something doesn't resonate, let it be. Um, but there's a lot of red energy, green energy, blue energy, so yeah. Like, there's like an off-balance immune system, mucus buildup. Um, and you could notice signs and symptoms, or you you don't notice them at all and um but with this orphan there's like a self-neglect going on so um the limiting belief that 
you need to completely let go is that um, you're not good enough. You could also not feel safe um, or have a problem with feeling safe. Um, but yeah, that's like a huge trap like setting yourself up for failure um just not taking care of yourself um you know and like if you can see like there's like people in the mirror so um people could be watching you you could have a family um as well and so but yeah so there's a lot of green energy this green energy could also represent envy as well um, you looking at others, being envious, wishing that you had that, being cutthroat with yourself. So, um, yeah, take it easy with yourself. Um, that's the limiting, that's the limiting belief that you have, that you're not worthy, that you're not good enough and being envious of everybody else's life. Um, looking in, like literally like looking in, let me show you guys that. literally like looking at everybody else's life like your family isn't good enough like you're not good enough like the way you grew up you know wasn't good enough and you just don't take care of yourself um feeling unworthy and yeah the limiting belief that you have here is that you're not worthy you're not worthy of a good life like um and so the I'm going to pull some word cards to give you some additional advice. Um, yeah, so just open, work on opening your heart, work on forgiving yourself, and one day at a time, one step at a time, but you really need to reflect back on your childhood and just nurture the child within and just take care of yourself. There's a really strong need to take care of yourself. And let's see. Okay, yeah, look, this says to think different, literally, yep, that's what you need to start doing, think different, off-balance chakras, manifesting, so congratulations, you guys, and notice that these are green as well, and so are those, so yeah, your heart chakra is definitely blocked, and like I said, I will have the words, some of the signs and symptoms of a blocked heart chakra, the physical symptoms and the mental symptoms, um, because I feel like that's very important. I'll also do a video on that. So hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on that. But new place, this could mean like a physical new place, you moving. This could also be you um, mentally moving into a place of feeling like you are worthy of something. You are worthy of better things and actually taking care of yourself that's what you're moving into so good job on and congratulations on either one of those if that resonates with you it says life seems unpredictable without set intentions so start setting those intentions like i intend to um take care of myself to, i intend to listen to my needs i intend to really work towards change and actually put some action behind it you have writing, okay? You could be really good at writing or writing down your manifestations, writing down um, wh where you see yourself in three months. You know, just really practice gratitude. Write down those affirmations. Write down uh, a gratitude journal. Practice gratitude. Simply saying thank you for your blessings. Really um, looking at your life and looking at what you do have rather than what you don't have and really being grateful for it and, you know, what something that could work for you is like if you think like uh, you have it so bad and you just can't think of one thing good, um, then compare it to compare your situation to something that's like 10 times worse. So um, whatever your situation is, just be like, um, well, at least I'm not getting mauled by a bear right now because that's like super intense, you know. And that's just an example, but you know, like think of something um, worse and then compare it to that so that you can be like, well, yeah, you know, at least I'm safe right here where I'm at right now and not being chased by a bear. And I'm going to pull out a couple more. Okay, you have art. So yeah, find a creative outlet or turn your um, pain into something beautiful. 
you guys um, really have a lot of pent up emotions and like frustration. Mo money, mo problems, perception shift. Yeah, there's need to be a, like think different perception shift. Um, a part of me loved you and I will cherish you forever. So yeah, holding on to past relationships, holding on to um, past exes or past situations that let let that go like uh past breakups past holding on to things in the past that once broke in your heart even in childhood you're just holding on to it and you haven't um forgiven it or been able to, for, to forgive yourself or um you haven't been able to um forgive you have shocking so um you could be um, receiving some, yeah, manifesting new place. So um, that's going to shock you because it's going to come at an unexpected time. You're not even going to be expecting it. And you have coach. So what do you think about when I when I um, say coach, life coach? You know, um, you could be like, you know, tur like I said, turning your pain into something helpful. But what do you think of when I think of coach? And that's what I have for you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope this was helpful for you. Okay, guys. So if you chose the orange rock, let's see what limiting belief that you have. Looking on the bright side. You're not able to look on the bright side. Or you're not able to um, tap into your creativity, your divine feminine energy. Um, let's see what else we get. Food and hunger. Lack mentality. Cocoon of evolution. Lots of green and orange energy here. You got this big van girl. So like I said, like lots of orange energy. That's your sacral chakra. That's where all that creative fire, intensity, passion, intimacy happens there. That sexual um, passion and energy and mixed with the heart chakra. So your limiting belief is um, keeping you from not going after what you want and you have a lack mentality a lack mentality and a, like a not like maybe a need like a not being able to look on the bright side or look at the bigger picture or see the beauty that's around you because you're you're coming from a place of lack so like your environment is not enough or nothing is enough for you um you know and so the limiting belief that you have is like um like not uh, it's like a your your sacral chakra is off balance and i will have like what that looks like um for you to read on the screen um but so what i'm getting is that there's a need for you to like you have a fear of of your own success or your a fear um that what you have is not good enough or what you have to offer is not good enough and so the limiting belief that i'm seeing here is just um like a uh, believing in that like everybody can do it better than you you know not being able to see your own beauty see what you offer coming from a, a place of lack and greed and so yeah like um balance the heart and balance your sacral chakra so that you can turn all that anger into passion Turn it into something creative. Turn it into something bright and beautiful. Because you have something to offer the world. And the, the also limiting belief you have is not being able to trust your intuition. So that's why you feel like you don't have direction.
okay. You have soldier. So maybe you were told that um, expressing yourself in a certain way um, wasn't acceptable or you wasn't allowed to express yourself in a way that you needed to. And so the first step, this says here, the first step is acknowledging that there is a problem. Being able to hold yourself accountable, not so much blaming people for how your life turned out or how for how your life is. You have photography, like I said, like, oh, yeah, being able to see the bigger picture. You could also be good at photography or like photography. But yeah, like that um, correlates back to being able to see the bigger picture, being able to reflect and take a step back, see it, say it, believe it. This is all about the limiting belief. And so you have to believe that you know, what you have to offer is good enough. You have to believe that um, you are worthy. You have to believe in yourself, like in your gift, in your talent. You have to believe in your vision. Your ego is blocking you and getting in the way. There it is right there. You know, there's, and the ego is driven by fear. All right, so you have um, murder there, and this could be a loved one coming through. Um, but I'm really getting like um, with this, this is like coming to me like in the form of like murdered an idea. <laughs> Or kidney failure. I don't know why that came out. Kidney failure. I don't know. You have an apple a day keeps the doctor away. You have amethyst, intuition, awareness, insight. And you have, yes, trust your gut instinct. And this is also orange. And amethyst helps you tap into your intuition. And then this says networking and decision making. So what does that mean to you? What does that mean for you? When you hear that, like, are you con you need to um, connect with connect with people in the same line of work that you want to get into. That's what I have for you, you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And I hope they gave you some insight on what limiting belief is needs to go. <laughs> okay, guys. If you chose the purple rock, let's see what limiting belief has to go. You probably are not good with receiving um, help. You're probably not good with asking for help. And um, you could also be a giver. Like you give so much. Like you would give like your last. Ooh. You probably have ankle, ankle Achilles area pains as well. Okay, lots of purple in um I was about to say intuition, but yeah, like lots of purple in energy, lots of intuitive energy. Crown chakra, third eye energy here. You have guardian bowel. You have block attack. Yeah, okay, so your purple, your your crown chakra and your third chakra, your crown chakra and your third eye chakra. Like look at that purple energy. Like literally purple purple spiritual settle machine energy settle machine yeah it's definitely blocked look trust and faith when you're when you're following your intuition that's all that is like you having trust and faith in yourself having trust and faith in your guys having trust and faith in the universe okay you are angelically protected as well um you may be blocking your downloads blocking your downloads blocking your yeah literally blocking your downloads um missing out what's what's on what's given because you're not trusting the process 
and you're not open to receiving. Lots of blaming and shaming. A need to release guilt and pain. Okay, I'm going to get some additional messages for here. But um, yours is also like, um, that's the limiting belief you have. Like not being able to trust. Not being able to have faith. Like it doesn't come easy for you because of this blocked uh, third eye and you're you know there's there's no clarity like my mind is just like um very heavy so like um you might be very confused very frustrated very um uh, fog-minded okay Yeah. Amethyst came out as well. That will help you provide you with the clarity that you need. Bottled up emotions. Let it out. You need to release. Let your imagination. Your ego is blocking you. You have everything will be fine. Yeah, like this pile is very like, and you have murdered. This pile is very similar to the previous pile. Beautiful soul. You're very like empathetic. Um, you may have lost a loved one as well. Trust your gut and they may be trying to contact you, but, or connect with you. But, um, you might be very uh, closed off or like second guessing yourself a lot but um, amethyst will pr provide you with the intuition and um, awareness and insight see it say it believe it yeah there's a need for you to believe in yourself look i was just about to say it there it is there's a need for you to believe in yourself believe in yourself you can do it this is like angelic and even a loved one with that murdered here like a loved one like really pushing through really pushing through like um just in case the orange pile came uh came out to you or resonated with you as well um this is like a loved one like really trying to push you um in the right direction because i feel like um you're very resistant you're very um hesitant like maybe you don't like being told to do you're very like fiery you could be a leo but this says you can do it like they're trying to push you in the right direction and you're you're maybe like naturally rebelling and it's like no like you can do it like don't don't give up because you're scared and, you know, connect with your intuition, connect with your higher self. Um, you have a soldier mentality, like a warrior mentality, very strong minded, very masculine. Um, but this is the thing, like they tell, it's like almost like you tell me to do something, something, um, I'm going to rush into something else type of thing. But there's a need for you to, in whatever you do and whatever choices that you make, you are supported, you're protected. They're never going to leave your side. But the thing is that you need to think things through. You're very rash and you're very reckless and you're very rebel-like. And um, the message here is for you to think things through. Stop being so rash. Stop being reckless. And oh my gosh, the main thing is like believe in yourself. This says believe in yourself. This says believe in yourself. And this whole pile is like you can do it. Yes. Like everybody knows that you can do it. You got to know that you can do it so that you can do it. Like you might have a very... Um, very vivid imagination a very um creative imagination and just let let that out you have a very beautiful soul like the way you think is very unique um don't block your gifts out i'm hearing don't block don't block out your messages that's what i have for you guys oh and to practice gratitude you have so much to be grateful for simply saying thank you oh i didn't even see these right here be hopeful towards the things that have not yet to gain and that goes right hand in hand with practicing gratitude what this say 1925 thinking in the past um a loved one could be coming from 1925 but this makes me think of thinking um in the past like not letting things go just holding on to old things 
and just um yeah like trying to sever the connection whatever that means to you but it's like don't try to sever the connection uh tap into your higher consciousness and that's what i have for you guys Okay, you guys if you chose the blue this is like literally like throat chakra energy right here nice and blue brotherly love okay so maybe not so much twin energy but like a brother coming through passing on love you have rescue cats enchanted gobble will communication as well like i said throat chakra writing down writing down your affirmations or writing down what you're grateful for or just writing a story writing your story white magician hats so yeah like the and you have transportation i'm going to put so what this is what limiting belief needs to go and i'm gonna pull some clarity because it's like you can go you have the ability to go places like you're not you're not tied down you're not held down so um you're only held down in your mind okay i'm gonna sh pull a little bit more not that many though What limiting belief did they have that needs to go? Okay. Sinister Serpent. The way you talk to yourself is very poisonous, very toxic, very cutthroat. Like I said, like lots of blue energy. So um, maybe you need to write down your emotions. Um, put Add knowledge to your emotions. You could also be a water sign. But you hold in like a lot of emotions. You might don't express yourself. And because you're not expressing yourself, that's turning into like physical symptoms like fatigue, stress, headaches, um, just not being able to perform on the level that you normally performed in, feeling stagnant, feeling like you're, you're trapped. Yeah, like feeling like, literally feeling like you're trapped. She has chains on her. So it's like, you're literally not stuck but that's that's how you feel like you need to call back your power you need to tap into your inner strength you need to find your voice um will like i said like this could be a lost um loved one um your brother could have passed away with this brotherly love here and this says like last will so um remember that this is a collective but yeah like you're feeling trapped you're feeling like you're not gonna go places because of you know but that's just like that's all in your head and that's because like it's the way you're talking to yourself and the way you talk to yourself is what becomes your truth is what you believe Um, there's this green energy as well, that heart chakra, forgive yourself, forgive whatever, forgive whatever you feel, yeah, green energy there, but yeah, there's just like this inner conflict where you want something different, but then you're, you're, you're at war in your mind against yourself, and the limiting belief is like, it's it's in your words you have to understand that your words are very powerful like they have the ability to either nurture you and empower you or cut you down that's like um on harry potter when uh, voldemort says avada kedavra like that translates to i have the power to like kill with my words kill or destroy or harm with my words and abracadabra means i have the power to 
create, you know, I have the just the same with saying like ashe. You know, so words are spells, words hold power and the more whatever you say to yourself ultimately becomes your truth. If you say I'm sick, your body is going to make you sick because that's what you keep telling yourself. So your body is going to do what you're telling it to do. You have good listener taking care of business. Okay. You have dream it, imagine doing it, succeeding at it, overthinking will kill it. And that's, like I said, you're all in your head. You could be an air sign, but you don't have to be. You could be a water sign as well, but you need to remain grounded. You talk more than you act, talk more. I meant, yeah, you talk more than you act, talk less, act more. Taking care of business, you need to get things done. Or you have been getting things done. Guides above and around me, protect me, guide me. I invite you to work with me in this moment. Show me clear signs of your presence. Thank you. And there's also a need to protect yourself. Blue also makes me think of Archangel Michael, who's like the protector Archangel. Good listener, you may need to seek counselor or that just describes your personality. You're a good listener. You need to um, also listen to your needs. Take care of yourself. This says handle yourself like the most valuable, expensive, fragile flower ever to exist. And you see that? And take care of yourself. This says, boy, girl, just wow. You need me to remind you that you slay, blaze, and stun for nothing. Money, getting success, big money, grip, body on thick. Stop playing. You didn't forget. You're awesome. I love you. So really boost yourself up. You have to be the one to boost yourself up because, you, like I said, you're, you're either going to boost yourself up or you're going to tear yourself down. And you've been tearing yourself down. But you blow people away. You blow other people away with your awesomeness. But you're, you're probably like very, very hard on yourself. Problem solver. Again, that throat tracker, you're very communicative. But... It's like like two different personalities. Like you, you just need to be your best friend. Like who you are to other people when they need you is who you need to be for yourself because you need yourself. Sweet addiction, you might be addicted to sugar. Um, what a beautiful mess. That's also a, a, new, uh, a good song to listen to. You have new place, so you could be moving into a new place. Get this says get high booty music. Raise your vibration. You're about to move. Look, I said going places, so new place. So get high. That's something to look forward to. Reading, communication, like I said, like you should go. You should go. If you're thinking about going somewhere, you should go. If you're thinking about doing something that involves traveling, plan it out. You definitely should go. Off balance chakras, yep. Red jasper, root chakra. You might be um, struggling with financials, so that's why you feel stuck because, like, you can't get a hold of your money. But, um, red ch root chakra, friend zone, okay. Friend zone, maybe you need to talk with a friend or visit a friend or a friend. Brotherly love, okay, okay. Brotherly love, friend zone, okay. This could be like relationship talking about, um, the, remember this is a collective so this is a specific message here um with this brotherly love and this friend zone so somebody has you in the friend zone or you got somebody in the friend zone but they like you or they want to get your attention um but you're not thinking about them or you know you don't think of them in that way so you need to speak that you need to let them know so you're not wasting anybody's time and vice versa but this says no, but there's still a chance, and this is still a chance probably for you to move or for you to go places, or there's still a chance for you to do something, so don't give up on yourself. You need to take care of yourself. But this says, hell yeah, look, get you got hell yeah, you got to get hype. You better get hype. Something just happened. You better get hype, get excited. That's what I have for you, you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope they give you insight on what you need to let go.